Um, good afternoon, my name is Dr. Daniel Pelai. I'm a previous simulation fellow at University Hospital Coventry and Warwickshire. Um, so, um, essentially, one in four doctors in the current NHS workforce is an overseas graduate. And what we've found is actually these doctors are more commonly referred to the GMC for performance assessments compared to their UK, grad, um, UK equivalents. And so we created a high fidelity simulation program to target discrepancies in staff training and staff induction for this cohort of doctors um, in our locally employed trust. So in summary, um, what we did is we identified work-based challenges um, and incorporated this into high fidelity simulation, incorporating ethical and legal issues within a medical emergency. Um, the one day course was actually directed at five foundation year two grade equivalent doctors and it was facilitated by four faculty members. Um, in creating this course, we actually came across a number of barriers. So number one, the absolute number one barrier that we uh, found was finance actually. Um, as these doctors were non-training, securing study leave for their attendance um, and financing was extremely difficult. And not only that, it was a very high, as I said, for, uh, faculty candidate ratio. And so giving another cost element as well. So we use the positive feedback from the pilot studies to address stakeholder issues and secure funding from our trust. Um, number two was that 94% of the participants had actually never participated in simulation before. Um, so they thought that simulation was an assessment and it increased their anxiety levels. <coughs> So now we provide pre-reading assessments, um, so pre-reading materials and audio-visual materials on our website to kind of alleviate their anxiety. Um, we also include a much longer introduction um, to the mannequin and to the room to alleviate their anxiety. Thank you. Um, as per the literature recommendation, we touched on this before, um, confidentiality <coughs> forms posed an issue for us. We found that there was some unsafe practice going on. Um, so what we had to do was actually change our confidentiality forms and if there was unsafe safe practice being identified, we would refer these um, candidates to their educational supervisors to give them additional support within the trust. Um, and lastly, the most interesting challenge that we came across was actually the differences in debrief itself. We found that there were challenges in the judgmental language being used by these overseas gradu uh, graduates. So things like you were absolutely rubbish, you killed a patient, were being often used by the observer candidate. So it caused a lot of issues during debrief um, with this very diverse multicultural group. To, um, to overcome that, we kind of had to reinforce ground rules. Sorry. Um, and in conclusion, even though it was an absolutely fulfilling um, program for both the faculty and the candidates, we did come across some challenges, um, which I'll be happy to discuss. Thank you very much. Thank you.